This is a love story about a tent. No, really, this is just an interior decor reveal for my new 16 foot Danchel Outdoor canvas bell tent. My husband and I have been wanting this for a while because it's an all weather full canvas tent. We chose the 16 foot diameter. You could get a 10 foot, 12 foot, 16 foot, or 20 foot diameter. So ours is um, on a the larger side, not the largest size, but quite spacious. Our previous tent was an Ozark trail tent, which was okay, um, but this blows our past tent out of the water. With this 16 foot diameter tent, the pole height is actually 10 feet high in the center, which provides a lot of space for walking around and um, you do not feel like you are in a small space at all. One of my friends um, kept referring to our tent as the Taj Mahal of tents and people would come around the campsite just to look at our tent, which was kind of cool. So let's get straight to the interior of the tent. I'm going to go through what items I have in it, where I got those items from, and also random various information that I found helpful for glamping. I have a family of four, so I set up this interior really simply with two extra long cots, in the middle of the back of the tent and then a spot for each of my children on both sides of the tent. Truthfully, I didn't want to spend a lot of money decorating the interior of this tent. Um, the tent itself was kind of a large purchase, but I did splurge on the deluxe Coleman cots because I thought it would provide a lot of structure to the interior of the tent, which it did. So I feel like it just sets different areas apart so that it feels like it has more structure. That's the first thing I really liked about the Coleman cots. The second thing is they were super, super comfortable to sleep in. And then the third thing that I didn't expect, it was kind of amazing because they provided great storage for all of our bags underneath them. Um, you can see here, I stored everybody's bag individually under the cot and it really kept everything out of the way and helped me keep our tent clean and organized. One last thing about the Coleman cots, I had a hard time deciding between the regular Coleman camping cot or the deluxe version. Basically, the difference is that the deluxe version is 80 inches long compared to 69 inches long, and it's also 5 inches wider. I almost went with the regular version, but went with the deluxe in the end, and I'm pretty glad I did because it was only about 20 bucks more each cot, and it seemed well worth it whenever we were sleeping on it. I purchased these online. You can get them at Walmart, Amazon, or any like um, outdoor type of store. <laughs> My next favorite thing for my glamping decor is my boho bedding and this was a total score because it was only $20 for the comforter, the pillows, the bed skirt, and um, everything included with that pink bedding. I didn't think I would use the bed skirt but then actually it worked great because it covered up all of the luggage underneath um, the bed. So that was a very nice score. It just made it feel boho and really comfortable. I had found this bedding at a thrift store when I was looking for my glamping decor. Next, I'm going to go through some items that I found for really cheap at Five Below. I didn't want to spend a lot on camping decor, so when I saw these, I knew they could have a purpose in the tent. So the first are these little side tables. Um, they are white and they fold up so you can just go ahead and store your books or your phone. Um, 
a drink right on these tables by the side of the bed. I think they worked out great. The top comes off and then they fold so they didn't take up a lot of room whenever we had to pack up to come glamping. And the next thing are these little footstools. They're just like a burlap top. They were $5 each and I really liked them because it gave a little spot for the kids to sit or me to sit and put on my shoes. I just thought they helped define the space and then also provided a little seating area. The next great thing for glamping that you'll need are string lights so that you're not blind at night and you can get around and see and it creates a nice ambiance. These are really nice because I strung them around the edge. There's actually some areas that you can hook things on. And so these lights had a hook right on them and I just hung it right on that side. These were a great deal from Amazon. A couple of things, make sure to get the plastic um, bulbs so that they don't shatter. That would be a really bad thing to have glass shatter inside your tent. It could, it could tear up your tent. So these are plastic bulbs and they were a great deal. I think, um, there's two strands and they were around 20 bucks total for two 12 foot strands. So I'll try to find that link and link it below in the description. I think I could even get more of these bulbs and to try out stringing them in different ways, but this was a nice start for my first glamping experience. Okay, I'm almost finished, but the next really important thing that I found useful when glamping are a lot of rugs. I was really lucky I had these rugs. This large one came from Target and I used to use it in my house, but I hadn't been using it for years. So it was perfect to use for in the tent. And then I had these smaller rugs also. I think I would maybe prefer to get some more rugs that are all solid, but they worked out great for this trip. And then also the outdoor rug that I used was only a two by three inch and I would suggest getting maybe a four by six or something like that for this size tent. A little more information about this tent before I go. I was super impressed with it um, all the times we've been camping in it. There was a very bad storm the second night that we stayed. Um, one thing, it holds cold air really well. Um, we camped July 4th weekend and it was 90 degrees when we were camping and truthfully at night it was super cool in there because the tent is so high up. Um, it really just the hot air goes up high. It also has great ventilation through the windows on the sides. On our second night whenever it was storming um, our tent held up so well. Another tent in the campsite had a tree fall on it and was completely destroyed. Um, I don't think our tent could have held up better. Here is a little bit from whenever it was storming. It was lightning and everything like that. So I'll just let this play. I really quite liked the storm um, and felt really safe in our tent. I wasn't worried at all. So that's that. Here's my son. He was coming in to go ahead and tell me I needed to close the windows. And even up until this point, it was raining a lot and it still wasn't wet inside the tent. Um, 
if you like him, go ahead and give him a shout out. He has a YouTube channel, Gamer Coo, and he needs some subscribers. He only has 40, so head on over there. I'll put it in the links below. I hope you really liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment below if you have any questions about anything. I'll make sure to answer it. Bye.